damn i really hope you guys didn't just see that but yes as you guys can see i'm a different type of flow today it's that i'm on that disney channel flow bro with that wakanda level hearty heart heart so anyways today i hope you guys uh saw last day's video we have completed you know what we completed um our landing bridge product landing bridge so today we're going to be working on our technical documentation page very cool very awesome you guys are gonna love it why don't answer don't question it just don't question it i just know you guys are gonna love it because who doesn't love it booty booty nobody knows but anyways let's get this party started well, I don't really know what we can do about what kind of documentation page we can do. For this example, they're giving us an example to make a um, a uh, JavaScript one. And honestly, I was thinking about making a JavaScript one before by following um, JavaScript.info. Look at this one. I want to create something like this. You guys see this? Do you guys looking at this right now? This is something very interesting. I will not have this in the description below. <laughs> Unless you guys want it. But like other than that, yeah, I want to be able to create something cool like this. You guys feel? But, you know, life is short and we don't have time. So let's just create a simple js documentation page that's similar to this but different style because we flow on the different flow bro and all this documentation is taken from the mdn so javascript i don't know how this has been taken from here mm. yeah so whatever who knows maybe we will we'll get into it faster than you can say banana peels but anyways let's get this party started so let's create an we're gonna make this outside of the little code pen editor because i don't like it i just really do not like using it on this type of browser but anyways let's continue so what are we gonna call this js documentation literally the way i spelled it is literally because like literally everything is going to happen the way we literally talk about lit t r re so let's find visual studio and open it up at the same time if you guys know any cool um tips and tricks with uh what is it called If you guys know how to use um, Visual Studio Code and you guys know how to create a cool looking theme, please let me know in the description because I will, f will find you. And when I find you, I will ask you this similar question that I'm going to be asking you right now. Do you know how to create a theme? And if you guys give me the answer, of, of course I do. I will find you again. And then I'll ask you to help me. And I don't feel like we're going to need assets. I feel like this is going to be a short little... Um, a short little project. So let's basically just create a boilerplate. And we don't... It doesn't want to work. Oh. There we go. Boilerplate created. JS documentation. And the reason I'm doing the documentation of the JS is because, guys, I also like JavaScript, okay? It's not because I want to do it because I want to do it. I want to do it because it's freaking cool. Anyways, before we start with this side and copying and pasting and all that mumbo jumbo jazz, let us see what we're going to have to do. So... I can see a main element with a corresponding ID of main doc. 
sweet so let's do that so let's create a main header or a main thingy with the id of main doc very cool very awesome and within the main doc we should create a section and there should be five sections well before we continue let's see we got one two three four five six seven 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm sorry, I'm kind of tired. All right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so I, I was not bluffing. So what do we need to do? Create 14 sections. So a section, let's do this. So section oops section that has a class of main section and is that it let's do five of these so times five right several sections okay So the first three element, the first element within each section should have a header. Okay, real quick. So I don't know if it's like this. And then we create header. Oh snap! Look at that, guys. We're learning something cool. Yes. So each section element with the class of main section should have a ID that corresponds. Okay, so I think I understand. So since this says introduction, actually we did this wrong. We don't want five. We want 14 of these bad boys. There we go, look. Okay. Now look. Now look at that. Ooh. Now, what we're going to do is give this an ID of introduction okay and inside our header we're gonna type in introduction okay now for this one same thing what should you you already know so ID is going to be what what you should already no and let's just copy and paste this cool very freaking cool let's do the same thing okay this let's make this small just because and holy cow guys I should have chose something else because this is gonna take a while oops hello world goodbye so while I'm doing this, let me ask you guys a question. How is everyone's day today? Did you guys like St. Patrick's Day? Is everyone surviving this corona illness? Have you went outside and touched somebody with coronavirus? Are you infected? If so, how are you feeling? Do you enjoy living? <laughs> At the same time, uh, I would like to say, do you guys know JavaScript? I don't know. Just kind of curious. Do you guys are in? Are you guys into uh, Discord? I don't know. At the same time, do you guys know uh, this song called um, 
or this album is called Bittersweet. Check it out. It's by Abri Ab Prince. It's very cool, very nice. Recommend it. Go check it out. Let me know what you guys think about it. If you guys love it, let me know because I'll give you guys a cookie. And who doesn't like cookies? Cookies and cream, y'all. Ooh, I'll give you that cream and that cookie. Have you guys ever been pranked by a cookie cream monster? I know I haven't. Nobody talks to me like a cookie monster. Because I'm the cookie monster. At the same time, guys, I'm very sorry about being, like, not too active or whatever. I try. Kind of. But please forgive my actions. Uh, but remember that I'm trying my best, okay? So, hopefully, one day you guys are gonna see this and be like, Damn, bro. Look at that progress. You progressed. I'm gonna be like, yeah, buddy. Yes, indubitably. Indubitably, I progressed because progression is the key to success. If you do not progress, you will die. If you die, your life was a lie. If your life is a lie, why even try? Oh, snap, yo. I'm a lyrical magician over here. Look at these references. You should, guys should just put me on your reference track so I can finesse your socks off. Yeah, I kind of failed at that one. But hey, give me some slack. Ombre. Oh. Oh. Okay, so now the main section element should contain at least 10 paragraphs total. The main section element should contain at least f code items, okay? This is like typing up an essay, y'all. You need to have five paragraphs. You, they only they need to have five adjectives. Like, damn. Ah, oh, excuse me. I was drinking my kofife. All right, so let's create a nav item. Cool beans. Let's give it a nice nav bar. Let's put that up top, down low, in the middle, too slow, yo. Okay, the navbar element should contain one header element, which contains the text that describes the topic of the technical documentation. Okay. So you're telling me I should put everything inside a header, pretty much. But hold up, let me see how things are about to look real quick, because I feel like I to not just yeah because it looks like poop so inside this header I guess if we put them inside an H2 ah look at that style oh yes yes this is what I'm talking about yeah style sorry I know I'm yelling like I'm whispering but hey, people need to sleep. And look at that. I got complaints from my neighbors. <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. But that was a coinky dink, wasn't that now? But anyways. And the reason I'm making these in H2 is because... Guys, come on now. You can't just style everything in H3s. H2s need some respect too, man. And I know this is, I feel like this is one of the slowest ways. But I really don't know which way can go faster. What if I go like this? It's gonna change. H2. No. Wait. What if. You see. Select. You see, it does not work. But what if you go like this then? And then boom. Oh, my eyes. They look so good. Alright, so H1. What should we call this? So if this site. Oops. 
So if this one javascript.info, the modern JavaScript, this is called JavaScript documentation guide, JavaScript guide. This is JavaScript documentation. Mm. What should we do this? What should we call this? Mm. Technical or JavaScript technical. JavaScript. Oops. JavaScript. Technical. T -t 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 technical. A. Technical. Because we are all here tech and we call. Technical. Technical. JavaScript. Technical. Script. Script. And then pimpin them. Peter and Pipin. Because JavaScript technical exclamation point is the way to be up in this joint. Ooh. I'm a lyrical demon up in here. All in these fantasies that you cannot see me, my dear. Ooh. In addition, this nav bar should only contain a link. Elements with the nav link just don't seem to mix with the ink. Ooh. I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> Anyways, so let's check this out. There should be only, there should be one for every element. So, uh, so uh, we have to create 11 of these and we got to give them a nav link. Well, for a moment, it's going to be like this. We're gonna give them a class and we're gonna name it Navlink. Cause that's what they want us to do. And we will do what they want. Cause we are cool, bros. Come on, bros. Bros. Introduction. Introduction, bro. Come on, bro. Do you not know the way? I will show you the way. Do you not know the way? Okay, dokes, my guys. So now we got the nav link, and the nav bar must come before. Okay. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Dang, I kind of forgot how much we are already making now that's a long sentence okay Oops. Intro, 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 intro. Okay. So let's, I guess, do that real quick. Mm. What would you do for a quag nut bar? I'll tell you what I will do for a quag nut bar. Timmy, I will blow the world. Ha, 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 ha. I'm kidding. Please do not use my words against me. I'm just trying to be a goofy guy. If I see you using my words against me after this, I will not hesitate but cry. Yes. Man, that's the worst thing you can ever do. You don't want to see a kid cry like that, do you now? It's not cool. But yes, my friends. May we continue. This world is just big enough for the both of us. Ha ha. Anyways, let's continue. So, hello world is next, right? No. JavaScript and Java. At the same time, guys, I don't know. 
how would you guys feel if I were to introduce some new lessons after this? Because I have some more things that I want to do for this channel. I want to be able to create a few more projects and do little tutorials on how I made those projects. At the same time, I want to get more into web design and who knows, share some design tips and tricks with you guys. How would you guys feel about that? At the same time, I'm going to be slowly moving on to JavaScript and I want to be able to help you guys on that road to JavaScript as well because I know JavaScript can be a difficult language to learn. At the same time, create some cool projects from there and also and games. I also want to be able to create a few games because who here remembers mini clip well whoever's watching this is going to get some nice intel this is going to be a nice easter egg i want to create a cool website that's going to be just like mini clip but better it's going to be using the javascript games because i know there's a lot of sites out there already that are using the javascript language but um to create games like Solario and like some other games but it's not in a arcade type of zone it's like all over the internet which is not so great you know because don't get me wrong yo there used to be um mini clip mini clip used to be like a big ass arcade now it's just like nothing because like since there was a framework game it's like not so popular in my opinion but like who knows I haven't touched mini clip for years. Maybe it's popular, maybe it's not popular, but I remember it had some pretty nice games. And I was trying to bring that back, you guys feel me? I'm trying to pick, bring it back. Cuz like those are some good times that really did change my life, so I want to see if it'll change other people's lives. At the same time, I always wanted to create something like that. You feel me? So, who knows? Maybe it'll be a good project. I want to see if you guys will be into that. And plus, since uh, VR is coming out, who knows? People might create some cool VR games. Uh, might be able to change that into a program. And then you'll be able to play on the web. Or, ooh, now that's kind of dope. How do you guys feel about that? Well, looks like I got to start now. It's better to start now than late. That's what I always say. Haha, <laughs> ain't that right, donkey? Man, I really wish I had a donkey. Don't call me Shrek, though. Cause I ain't, I ain't Shrek. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a goofy goofer, yeah. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. I'm a Higley Town hero, born and raised. <laughs> Snap. Okay, there we go. I'm playing. I'm I'm the gentleman over here. Ha ha ha. He he he. At the same time, I'm looking for friends. If you want to be my friend, please be my friend. Right now, I'm a big loner. So, it's cool if you don't want to be friends. But if you would like to take the time to subscribe right now and... I'm sorry this is take a long time, but I hope I'm entertaining you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I miss something? No. At the same time, who here watches Mr. Robot? I'm also trying to get into hacking as well. Uh, but that's going to be in the near future. I want to get better with uh, web websites. And hey, listen, if you're actually down to to like join me on this journey, trust me, you guys are going to be in for a treat because I'm going to be making sure I go big and I will not be going home. I'll go big and keep grinding and hustling and getting bigger and bigger. So, now I'd say start with me now or else you will lose the train. Because this train is not stopping until a new world has started. Until he is ready for the cyber world. Damn, yo, I'm, I'm talking too much now, y'all. This is what happens when you 
are chilling late at night. Late at night with Lou. I'm going to create a TV show just like that. Yo, someone help me out with a podcast. I feel like I could do this for a while. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, please. I'm also thinking about creating a podcast. If you guys know how to create a podcast, please let me know. Because, holy hell, I would really like to create a podcast one day. Let's check it out. It looks like poop. But it's okay. This is my poop. Anyways, when I click on a nav bar, it should go to the corresponding... Okay, that's... that's that, that happens. Okay. I feel like we basically finished for now. Um, What are we going to do real quick? Honestly, just copy... Paste it. Let's create an li. Oops. An li. What is that with a paragraph inside of it? Oh my god, we're so fancy. Muy, muy fancy. Duj bahato metsesio pish. Okie dokie, man. Very nice, I think. And boom. It's a looking nice, Johnny boy. Alright, so basically, I feel like we're basically done with today's lesson, which we pretty much set everything up. We set up our nav bar, we set up our main document. Next is going to be just putting things inside. And then styling it, and we're finished. So, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, today's video. I know it's a quick one. I'm not trying to stay up late. I'm trying to just get through these things. A little bit of something just for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And, yeah, I'll see you guys again next time. Thank you for watching.